In this video, we'll be discussing some of the commonly used properties in the behavior category of properties, such as those that control our views send policy, whether auto build is enabled, whether automatically named subranges are added, and whether S base operations are allowed on our views retrieve ranges. What we'll do first is set this report to automatically build. We'll also set it up to display the formula bar and to show different areas of ranges that can be added. To get started, we'll go to the Views Metadata Editor for my report. You can access this from the Dodeca Admin menu, but we'll simply right-click on My Report in the Runtime View selector, and then click Edit View My Report. Before proceeding, Make sure that you're using the most current version of the My Report binary artifact, which in our case is version 2. Go ahead and click Collapse All to collapse all of the property categories for My Report. Now find and expand the Behavior category. In this video tutorial, we'll mostly be discussing the commonly used behavior properties. The properties that are most commonly used in the behavior category, besides the retrieve policy, which we already set in the first part of the creating an Excel S base view video series, are send policy and allow send, auto build on open, auto add retrieve sub ranges, and allow S base operations on retrieve range. We'll discuss all of these properties in turn, but let's start with send policy. Send policy controls what range of data will be sent back to SBase during an SBase send operation. Although there are many options for choosing which data is sent by an SBase send operation in Dodeca, the most common way, and also the way that gives you the most control, is to use named send ranges in your Excel template. Go ahead and open the Excel template for my report one more time. In order to modify this template to work with the send policy we're going to set, we'll need to create an additional range name in Excel. You'll recall that in Microsoft Excel 2007, you can view your named ranges by going to the Formulas tab on the ribbon and opening up the Name Manager. Currently we have one name that we set up earlier, ESS.Retrieve.Range.1. Assuming we want to send back the same range of cells, we can set up our send range to use the same cells as our retrieve range, A4 to F10. So I'm going to select ESS.Retrieve.Range.1 in the formula bar, and then use the name manager to create a new name for those cells. For the name, we'll type in ESS.Send.Range.1. As with our retrieve range, the first three segments of the name are mandatory, so your new name must begin with ESS.Send.Range. followed by any unique string you wish to use. For the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, we'll use ESS.Send.Range.1. We want to make sure that the send range we're creating is scoped at the worksheet level. This is especially important now that we're generating a cascade in our report. From the drop-down labeled Scope, select Sheet 1. Click OK and then close on the Name Manager. We've now created another range that Dodeca can recognize. Go ahead and select a single cell and then save the workbook. Now, return to Dodeca and update the Excel template by returning to the Binary Artifacts Metadata Editor, choosing My Report, and then pressing the Import button. Dodeca should remember the location of the Excel template file, but make sure that it's selected and then press Open and commit the change. 
Now that your Excel template has been updated in Dodeca, return to the Views tab and again find the Send Policy property under the Behavior category. From the drop down to the right, choose Send Ranges. Doing so will tell Dodeca to use the named Send Ranges in the Excel template. Finally, we'll want to enable the Send button for the view. To do so, change the Allow Send property to True. This property controls whether end users can perform the S-based send operation from within the view. Go ahead and commit the changes to the database. Close the old instance of the view and rerun the view from the Runtime View selector. Build the view and you'll notice that the Send button is now enabled. This is the range that will be sent. I'll go ahead and press the Send button, and Dodeca reports that the send has been completed. If we want to see our range names in a formula bar, we can return to the View's Metadata Editor and simply change the Show Formula Bar property located under the UI category to True. Again, I'll press Collapse All, find the UI category, and change the Show Formula Bar property to True. Let's also set Auto Build on Open to True. The Auto Build on Open property is located under the Behavior category, and it simply tells Dodeca to build the view automatically when it's open. Note that Dodeca will build the view automatically only if valid selections have been made for each selector. In Dodeca, you can toggle the property value of any property with a drop-down selector by simply double-clicking on the property name. So we can just double-click to change the auto build on open property to true. Commit the changes to the view and then open the report one more time. This time, the view is built and displayed automatically. Additionally, the formula bar is now displayed, and it contains all of the available ranges in the report, ess.retrieve.range.1 and ess.send.range.1. Let's return to the view definition again to modify another commonly changed behavior property. Find the Behavior category, then locate the Auto Add Retrieve Subranges property and set it to True. Auto Add Retrieve Subranges controls whether, after any S-Base operation, Dodeca will add additional named ranges to the sheet that identify the page, row, and column headers, as well as the S-Base data within the Retrieve range. This can be very useful for dynamically formatting the page, row, column, and or data areas of a sheet using workbook script. You can read the full description and additional remarks about auto-add-retrieve subranges by expanding the property description panel at the bottom. Go ahead and commit the changes, and then open a new instance of the report. Using the formula bar, you can now see that additional range names have been added to the view. There's the S-Base data range. There's also the page header range column header range, and row header range. Again, this is useful particularly for performing dynamic formatting of the headers or data ranges using workbook script. Close the view and return one last time to the view definition. Now, we'll make a few changes that will allow us to perform S-base operations on our retrieve range. Typically, we tend to think of a retrieve range as a fixed set of rows and columns, but in Dodeca, you can perform S-base operations on your data, such as zoom in or zoom out, even if there are multiple retrieve ranges on the sheet. Dodeca will automatically insert or remove rows and columns to accommodate the data, 
in addition to adjusting the send and retrieve ranges. First, under the Behavior category, locate the Allow SBase Operations on Retrieve Range property and set it to True. When allowing SBase Operations on your Retrieve Ranges, there are a couple of other changes that you probably want to make to your view. I'll go ahead and collapse the property categories to make them easier to navigate. Scroll down to the Member Drill Through category and expand it. Locate the Member Cell Double Click Policy property and from the drop down set its value to Zoom. This property controls what happens when the user double clicks an SBase Member Cell. We want our view to perform an SBase Zoom In operation on that cell. Finally, we'll probably want to change the toolbar used by the view to provide access to the allowed SBase operations. Navigate to the UI category expand it, and locate the View Toolbar's Configuration ID property. From the drop-down, select the SBase View Standard All Toolbar's configuration. Commit the changes one last time, and then open a new instance of the View. You'll notice that we now have a different toolbar with extended SBase functionality and that when we select a member cell, additional buttons become enabled. Let's take a look at, for instance, our SBase row header range. That's our row header range right there. Now if we perform a zoom in, you'll see that the row header range has expanded, as has our SBase data range. The only other property within the behavior category that we see commonly changed is Paste Policy. Paste Policy controls what information can be pasted into the workbook. Commonly the Paste Policy is limited to values, so that only data is pasted into the Dodeca report, not for instance a data cell's original formula, format, and or comments. In this video, we've covered the following topics regarding the behavior property category of a view. The view's send policy, controlling whether an end user can perform an S-based send operation. Whether auto build is enabled for the view. Whether automatically named subranges are added to the view's retrieve ranges. Whether S-based operations are allowed on the view's retrieve ranges, and additional property settings recommended if they are and the view's paste policy, controlling what information is actually pasted into the Dodeca worksheet.